it a lot recently. Lena's pretty good against both DP. Which is being used on Carl currently. No real regen left for the Shadow Fiend, which has uh, been unfortunate. Seen so many non bottle builds in the mid lane recently, and is it going to be another one? I think the SF might just get a salve. He doesn't have enough money for a bottle anyway. He's going to ferry that out. Bottle is like, like an awful. Blood Earth bottom march. They've got the lightning storm. They've got first blood with the magic missile, and now Ollie might take some damage. This is level one Vengeance Or. He's up to level four, actually, and Ollie should fall. They just need another magic missile. They do have it. They're waiting on it. They did stack their stuns. And this is maybe a critical juncture for this Radiant team to find at least Lumic. But he's trying to hightail it. He doesn't have any mana. He does have stick charges. He can sandstorm. Thinking that they have sentries. He needs a burrow. He doesn't have it. The lightning storm slow. They need to split earth. But Lumic should get chased down here. He might get both bounties before he dies, though. Nope. Just the one. That's the timing for Night Star. Hit Night of. Now they will suffer. Now he's. Oh my god, Chuan's just dead, I think, though. The Fairy Fire, the double Fairy Fire. Who's going to win the battle? It's going to be Carl, even with the Crypt Swarm coming. Taking a lot of space elsewhere for the Vengeful Spirit, for the Underlord, even in the top lane, who's a lot of farm himself. Ollie going to get clear. Double raise. Uh-oh. Telekinesis, but uh, Ollie will just get clipped down by Chemo with Lumix uh, Claws. And actually, the last auto attack given to Carl. Not... Although... This is a big end is rune if they can find the kill. Wave comes out, Telekinesis, he needs to stick and he will, but he's dead anyway to the purification. Great end is rune from the Night Stalker, pretty lucky to get it. Not to mention he had phase boots as well, so some extra damage. They might be able to turn two. Grim's the one getting chased down on the Lashrak, but they don't want to dive the tier one tower. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Burrow Strike, but Chuan's got the Spirit Slice for the Sandstorm Magic Missile. This could be a lot of damage. The Fade Bolt, but here comes the Night Stalker. Lumic is going to get dropped down with one more auto attack, and they're going to lose another on Nando. Okay, is that one of those Nando plays you were talking about earlier? He's insane. He's a madman. And run right into Exorcism. I know that's not his call. Dwindle. In the next few moments, as Execration push their way into the enemy jungle. They'll find Ollie. It's a nice pickup, if they can get it. But they are only two supports, and Ollie has stick charges, and they have a Night Stalker, and he actually might survive. He even goes for the aggressive Null Field for some reason, instead of the defensive. I think he might... I don't know if he survives either way, but... Probably should have just been for the defense. I guess maybe they wanted the Night Stalker to get extra damage, but it's not much. Anyway. Player. All about the kill. I suppose that's fine. Void coming out, he's got a Sandstorm. Chin. Too aggressive again from Execution, potentially. They might lose Nando. He's gonna be he's gonna be chased down. I think they have a lift. They do. They're gonna pop Exorcism. They, I don't know. Oh they're gonna use boy. it to push into the base. That's actually a really big kill. They have actually managed to kill Marsh before he gets the heal on. Very surprised. Yeah, that push or something, but. OG's gonna have his four staff pretty soon. Hard to do. All right, here it is. Good call. Oh. You were kidding. You said here it is. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah. All they just might be dead. Swap, which puts him into tower range, which will kill him. Nighttime. And the nighttime comes, but they don't want to push into the tier one. Big bird creep. I'm gonna try to go for the push. Dude, it's great. He's about to use it too. Room is in a little deep, the purification comes out. They were not expecting the Omni to be there. They do get the tower. So I suppose it's not the end of the world. Had they forced Exorcism, it would have been even better. They're going to find two, though. I think they've uh, got the Astral onto the track. Or no, it's uh, Nando. Goodbye. Well. Beast for Carl, I guess. Yeah. That's it, right? Definitely Firestorm. Dark Rift seems pretty balanced. Pitted Malice seems pretty balanced. Dark Rift, not so much. Or both Firestorm, excuse me. Silence, that'll be on to one. They get a burst strike on to two. That's going to be a stolen burst strike. Sandy's dropped down. They've got the ultimate coming in from the Omni Knight. Oh, Carl's getting low. That's the Aegis down now. This is a pretty good fight. They force back Van. He's going to not get in time there, and they're going to leave the Shadow Fiend to die a second time in a row. And they probably get the kill, although Tron does fall, at least, which is pretty huge for Carl. That's actually such a sick play that he just made. And he will still die with one more auto attack. I actually think they did not need to take the tap. You're not sure what he can get done. 
And maybe there's a part of it that Geek Fam may be just flying sloppily with the Swan Death Prophet instead of just backing up. Especially with the way Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And so she's going to be playing from behind. The Omni Knight in the meantime is catching back up with the Midas. And of course, he's looking for kills to boot. See, he will blink in. They've got the vision. They've got Lumic. Nice pick. Land this Omni Knight all, all the game. You have to actually build your own items. Aeon just kind of changes how the game can't just try to blow everything. Oh, they canceled the TP. Yeah. Do they keep going? There is already one back. They That's going to be the OD. Going. This game might just spiral out of control if they're not careful. Rubik's forced to buy back. Tier 3 taking a big assault. Here comes the Dark Rift. The Astral is up and ready. They're going to try to bring these heroes down, but they've got the Dark Rift in time. Forcing a buyback. That's nice. He's not disassembling his Aquila for some reason, but that's fine. He might be dead here, actually. Good blink, good force. He is 100% dead. And just like that, they get it back. They don't, you know... They, they still have to keep the waves push, but... Uh-oh. Maybe Execration got to get jumped if they're not careful. It's no vision. A little dangerous, but he's so tanky that it doesn't really matter. And, yeah. I guess so. Now, Danger might be what he's afraid of now. He's getting dropped down, but they have the heavy center comer. They have maybe the initiation, the Shadow Free Requiem. The GA comes out there. There's the magic missile. The half HP out will devour. Still pretty tanky. GA is about to end, and it does, but Lumix kind of caught in the middle of nowhere. The Sanities will drop him down. He's dead for 42, and now the rest of the team has to run. They've caught Nando again. The team fighting from Geek Fam. If they're able to fight five on five, it's good. It's just more so they, they need to avoid getting split pushed, and uh, they did exactly that in that fight. Yep, I definitely need to on this. And this coming out. Yeah, jumping pretty aggressively. Oh. KB Ollie's getting run down. They're going to get a couple of auto attacks and the split earth. Can they find March as well? He has no purification or repel. No GA to follow up with. They've taken him down. Underlord was the trade. Juan and Skid all hiding, all running up to the high ground. Oh, hi, uh, Chuan, excuse me, running back in for some reason. The Burrow Strike does catch on to the Night Stalker. This could be critical if they can find it. They need a Magic Missile. They've got to swap instead. That's better. Magic Missile does finally come out the Splitters, and it's going to be three dead for this Geek Fan team. They and they it. see the Death Prophet top, so they might think, okay, they're not smoking. And then, well, Van might get caught with his pants down. Yeah, they have the Astro to start the fight off. They have the Nightmare, or the Nighttime, rather, with the Darkness. Silence, he can't Dark Rift. They need a Force. They need another one, and they do have it. But it's, even that might not be enough as they drop the Sanities. They commit a lot to try to keep him alive, and if Lumic dies, it's even worse for them. They don't have buybacks. That's pretty critical for uh, Radiant if they wanted to try to take high ground. But I don't think... I don't know if they can. They do have Exorcism. Let's see if they can force out. Maybe they'll make it... Oh, boy. This is a very dangerous position for the Shadow Fiend to be in, but remember, he has Aegis and uh, the BTV along with it. He's going to pop one of them. They almost get the kill. They do take down the Rubik, but that's just a Rubik so far. Now, March has used a lot of his abilities. He has to GH. Juan has got the AI and just popped. The Exorcism is going. They want a Split Earth, but the Repel gets out just in time, and that might be the time to back up. They swap him back. Never mind. Juan in trouble. Fear's actually keeping him alive. There's the Burrow Strike. The Purification is not in time, and that's going to be a dead hero. And now you've got to run, and this Outworld Devourer is going to be next as well. The Lincoln Sphere does not save him. He couldn't get up the force. Oh, yeah, but the big, the other thing is there's no exorcism, right? He's not. He doesn't have a refresher shard. He's not even close. Nice. That's a lot of atrophy aura. He hits like a truck. Uh, he didn't go for the level 15. Went for the cast range instead, which makes a lot more sense. And they might just take two sets here. Hey, they're not going to use the buyback of the DP. It's too late already. Still fly, but he has a butterfly, so he's okay. Been real nice about the uh, the man. Radiance top barracks are under attack. They're just going on the racks. Let's get his standing his ground and actually kind of winning the fight against Carl. But there's the swap out. They have found March, who does get swapped in turn, but he dies anyways. That would have been sick had they stolen swaps and actually kept him alive. He doesn't have buyback though, as he just fought Axe. He can't even get it off from the fight. That's pretty depressing. And it should be game one. Axe on me. The Axe man's here. All of Got a neon bit. And he's got to sheave his guard on a supportless rack. 
Now the Scotty up to the Shadow Fiend. Aeon Disc is going to go for the Lithrax, and they're going to turn and fight, potentially. This BKB is, I think, a 10-second BKB. It's a 9-second BKB action for the Night Stalker. He's getting chased by the Lash, so he's out of the fight, but so is the Thunderlord. Burrow does hit, but the Lincoln Sphere is going to block it. Skid getting auto-attacked down. They did finally get the Night Stalker on the other side of the fight, but this is probably more important. Here comes the ultimate from Swan. He's going to stand and fight with the Aeon Disc. Sand Beast comes out, but I don't know if it hit on anybody. It killed Grimms. I'm not sure that's big enough. They steal Requiem. But here comes that Epicenter. Good Astral save so far. Ollie's still getting man blocked by the Shadow Fiend. Jesus pops. Nando's still manning it up and fighting. He's going to try to find the match missile, but he can't quite get it. And actually, kind of turning for Geek Fam. It's a three for three, but now this OD's in trouble. The Hurricane Pike comes out. They have the Wave of Terror. Can't quite catch him. They don't have a blank for the Shadow Fiend. So they're going all the way in. Night Stalker actually is fast enough to cut them off. And the Shadow Fiend walks high ground. He's in. He is in. Good Astral save. They do have Purification. Carl's going to stand and deliver. They get off a nice ultimate, but it's not enough to bring down the Shadow or the Night Stalker, but they do eventually kill him. They do refresh. Carl still has Aegis. Double raise gets himself another kill. That's Mark dying. He has to buy back. Another Rick Rim. But Juan of the A on this. The Epicenter's going to get channeled and goes, but it doesn't do that much. Although Juan. And he's just down. There's not anything he could do. There's just too much damage. Too many sources. A triple kill for Execration on Carl, as well as on another hero. And they're going to die Fountain, and this is going to be GG. Execration, they really just... They sat on the back of Carl's Shadow Fiend Brax, and he just carried them to victory. Very good. Carl is the man. I've learned that for the past watching Southeast Asian Dota. This guy carries Well, we made... They have a Skyrath now for Geek Fam, which almost worked in the first game. Um, well, I think Skyrath, he fits the belt. It's unfortunate because it's a sick play if you can catch it and uh, you feel like you win the game, but I think they made it specifically so that you cannot win the game just based off of cliffing. However, there are certain circumstances where you can cliff somebody and still win the game if their TV's on cooldown or if they fly the CP out. And they're going to get this kill onto the Skyrath. I was watching the entire way. The Chaos Bolt, the setup from the reality of the Split Earth. And this is a very dangerous uh, duo in this bottom lane. And he left. He still has more than I thought he would, but uh, the Gyrocopter is the one that is sacrificing his last hits in mid lane for execution. Once Jaro uh, has his Aquila now, so now he's actually got a lot of damage with the bomb. But before he gets the kill, really weak. Yeah, exactly. Very tricky to follow with, up with. And, uh, oh. And Grimms is dead, but uh, they've secured the offlane kill. Nando is making a go on this Skyrath uh, Mage. They have nine stick charges with the Chaos, Chaos Bolt. It's a two second stun, but Nando doesn't have the Gravity Rift, nor does he have the damage on his own to secure the kill. And uh, he's going to get a nice little Chaos Strike. Strike and uh, at least get some HP back going his way. EP favored in the mid lane. Carl's a down. Down bottom. It's night time. Ribs is getting run at. 12 stick charges. One auto attack. Hunter in the night so that March doesn't lose vision. He's all over the place. The worldly traveler. Going on to Carl here. He's got no boots. But can they, actually... they cannot. And uh, he's not that close for a rocket barrage. But I don't think it really matters. And Snare I hear is pretty good for Carl. The Rubik is leaving. Get realizing if he gets close enough, he can get purified by this creep and he can die. 300 HP, purification, 200, or excuse me, 230 pure damage. Can you guys stop killing bottom? Get is going to get out of trouble. They are setting up a gank meta into Carl, though, on the gyrocopter. Concussive shot with lift should be enough. He didn't get off the rocket barrage. They pop the exorcism. Nice pick. Geek fam. They get back on the board with a third kill. Yep, and it's go time. And they will. Okay, I didn't think they were going to be able to, but the Seed Creep is more than enough, plus the Death Drop ulti. So I definitely underestimated the damage. Riptide onto Ollie with the Splitter follow-up. Should be enough damage with another auto attack Black Cannon kill. They can even go further. They're going to want the Scarath Mage. They've got the Rocket Barrage. Lumix about to die to the Spirit Scythe, and he will. It is a 2 for 1. How, did, how hard do they dive Swan now? Pretty hard. He doesn't have the Sticks. He does not have the uh, Spirit Scythe, and the TP is too late from Ollie. And this is a Gyrocops who really wants to get another kill, and he's probably going to find it. They don't have a lift. Rocket Barrage is back up. Ollie's dead. And this is becoming a disaster. The Skyrath made Armin like four kills, three actually. So his armlet's right around the corner, although he's walking uphill in a very precarious position, but I don't think they can do anything to him.
He was a dangerous lad. He could just Phantasm. He's, yeah, he's going to. That's a dead uh, Scarath Mage. Probably. They get the Void off. Actually, he's going to survive. Good TP from Nando, though, to know that the Void is down. There's no Telekinesis. And now Lumik, who's like, I can help you. Oh, God, I got to leave. Run. He went dead. Back in the... One more Void. And that voice yeah. is the critical part of it. Good Split Earth. Lumik survives. For now, he has another Riptide, but he can't afford to go close enough to get it off. Rip Swarm, maybe... Oh, what? That was a weird three typhoon. Hey, Grimms is dead. Nice. Oh, Why is he on cooldown? Rip Tide, here's the call down. Fairy Fire comes out. Can they turn this? It's daytime. The Ancient Seal, and actually, it's Carl that's getting dropped. He's gonna fall. It looks like Riyadh or if Nando. No, they don't bring down Carl. The Cast Bolt onto two. The Ensnare is there. The Rocket Barrage, and Carl still somehow manages to get a kill, even with Might Fall. It's gonna get glyphed. God. Wow, that was a special set of circumstances. And now they need a stun and they're gonna find it and Ollie's dead. Oh my goodness, Carl managed to navigate that during. All right. The Somni Knight continues to pressure top and not allow this Morphling to farm. Purification and Snare, but Earth, it's gonna be close and they will find it. Morph we have the armlet just about done for Nanda, which needs to be ferried out on the courier. That comes out, good luck fighting into him. They don't have any real initiation. That's the big issue. It's kind of just the Night Stalker. They found the Ensnare onto the Skyrath, who is probably dead. Super dead. And uh, can they find her execration? But uh, all it takes is one fight where this Morphling gets involved. Start getting some kills, although he is very far behind. Oh, he might find a kill, actually. He's going to morph him, uh, Jaro, but March is dead. I think. Yep, I'm sure the Knight's not enough to get him out of that situation. Um, mid lane, they're going to get a dive. Snare, Purification, Split Earth. I don't even think that. They didn't even have Purification. That was uh, the Riptide. This is three heroes dead. It is all unraveling for Gil, and he could still get it, but he's not going to dive the tier two. It's not worth it, it seems for him. Gave away some crucial information that the wood behind power. I mean, just look at these items here, Brax, for the Radiant team. Armless done. They more for Skid. He is working still diligently on this Linked Sphere. I don't even think he has the uh, recipe or the ultimate orb, so it's still a ways. Okay, they get another kill. This time they'd have the tier two. Nice waveform, and I don't think they have anything else. They don't. And Nando is really low. That was a dangerous game. He was playing in back over at the Roche Pit, the Pulse Nova, the Riptide. See you later. Dude, that purification plus the Pulse Nova damage plus the Riptide. And just like that, the counter initiation is probably going to come up. They don't have Phant Phantasm, but they do have a potential way to kill this uh, Morphling. They need a CK stun. They should have the Riyadh Rift. And that is a dead hero. Bots. Ooh. <laughs> That's how you know you're in trouble. But it's the right decision, maybe. Unless they lose all their heroes inside the case, and then it's not the right decision. Seconds. That's level two, so it actually does damage. Rex is uh, probably dead. They have no glyph. They used it on a tier two, I think. And uh, March is doing what he can by cutting the waves. I don't blame him. It's not going to matter. If they get the melee racks. Maybe they don't get the range racks because of that. But oh, here we go. Exorcism comes out. Nando is sitting in the tree line, and Ollie is like, I think they know we're here. GA comes out, they'll get the kill on the gyrocopter, copter, but he does get off the call down, and March is going to die for this with the Pulse Nova. Maybe. Yes. Yes. And now they're going to jump in with Nando, who is getting very aggressive with the Mystic Flare, but he's fine. He has so much HP, plus he has the repel on him, so he's pretty much impossible to kill. The Ruby fights back. They're going to find another one. This Skyrath Mage has been fodder for this Chaos Knight the entire game. Literally every game I play. If there's a slight issue, I will flip out. If there's like a bug in the new PS4 game I bought, it's just like I've lost it. Speaking of losing it, this uh, Chaos Knight might lose the Aegis, but he still is 7-0 and 6. The Omni Knight trying to get there. It's a little too late. Oh my oh, god, that arm of Tago. Are you kidding? Oh. But they didn't have the Omni there to help out, unfortunately. And he will finally rotate in. Now that he's there, I guess they got the Aegis, which might be worth it, unless they lose everybody. They get two, but it's not the biggest two in the game. This is the problem with the hero. He does a lot of damage, but when you're fighting into CK Naga, you're not going to do enough to get the kills. Exactly what happened. Omni will get silenced, but he still has his four staff. He's holding on to it. Not only that, but Lumik has his song ready. They're going to Phantasm and try to push mid and take a fight there against Ollie, who's dead. And uh, it's time to run if you're Lumik. You can't get off the song. He's dead. They have to back up, though. Well, uh, maybe not. I thought the users, I suppose. Unfortunate things happen to that. 
You know, this uh, Morphling is quietly farming up his Lincoln Spear, but he gets up a four second setting. If you really got that Morph as the sun came out, are you kidding? Pretty fast fingers. And now Nanda might be the one dead. Gonna Phantasm, and here comes the team fight. The rest of the heroes are coming, but they're not there in time. Adaptive Strike actually pushes him further away. The concussive shot, he silenced the toggles. That's his first death of the game. That is a monster kill spree that the Nina would be the next biggest target, but uh, I don't know if they'll find it. Yeah, okay, they, they, they've silenced him three different times. He's forced himself into a lift, and now he is dead as well. Uh, yep, uh, the Naga getting the Meteor Hammer next. And Ollie's about to die, I think. Yes. Probably. Maybe. Uh -oh. Nice Yules. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. Uh, maybe not. That, 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 that E button. Lumic even walks through the Mystic Flare for good measure, and he's like, ah, nah, I'm... Grims has the Yules too, if he can find a catch on anyone. This Garath is dead. Very dead. I sort of so he gives him the chicken taunt. Which, by the way, do you know where that chicken taunt originated from? No. Arrested Development. Oh wait, no, that's the Sky. That's the Venge one. Maybe it's both. Maybe I'm wrong. I think it's the Venge one, actually. Maybe I'm 100% wrong, I think, actually. It's just the Venge one. She does the Chachi Chot one that pulled off because there's a high ground push coming. I'm gonna check it out. Thanks, buddy. It's, it's nice for you to check something out. Okay, well, great. Yule Scepter, Chuan has no A on disc. He is dead. He's dead. That is going to be buyback. Did he use Exorcism? He did not, thankfully enough. So they can fight again. A smart play from him not to drop it, but they're losing so much out of this with the tier 3 getting dropped and everybody else that they need to be very careful. Tron dies. Okay, we got a smoke play. And this is probably the perfect positioning for it. Grim should die at least. And he does have a disc in 3. He cannot get it off and the song is too late. That is Exorcism though, and if they only get that with the Exorcism... The thing is, Roche has got to be... No, it's still taking the game so hard that I don't blame them. Envy right? might have. Commands of that guy made some pretty dank plays earlier. In fact, the entire team did. Okay. Well, they got Ollie. If they can get Mark, they're going to get revenge. That's a four seconds done. Nando is in there. That's a splitter. That's Aegis. There's the revenge. Then they get the revenge part two. Probably not, because they're going to song. Maybe they re-engage? No. Gone, just like that. They sure are. Nice, Rappel. I mean, Geek Fam are holding on by a thread. They might be in some trouble here. He's very... He has Force 1. Balance. Only Missile Stun. Adaptive Strike Stun. Very tanky. Belkin. Okay, they just have a million lockdowns. That's what they can actually pushing into the base. They're pinging it out. I think they know something is up. They would like to get the Ranger X bottom. Maybe the full set top. Lumic has spotted himself, or rather shown himself, and maybe they can make a, an initiation happen with March. Beard Vessel comes in onto the track. The Gyro takes down the building. And Stare Phantasm, March is dead. Uh, should be. Ethereal Blade came out from somebody. I'm not sure who. It was, well, Skid, the only one that has it. I'm not sure why I said I'm not sure. They're going to lose the Rubik along with it, and now this Gyrocopter is, rather, this uh, Morphling is forced back. They've uh, forced the buyback on March, which isn't going to give him that much. But here comes the Black yeah, Cannon. The waves. He's giving it to him, although it didn't really do that much damage in that fight. They look cool. They still have Exorcism. They're really holding on to it. They want to try to have it for this last fight, and I don't blame them. The Meteor Hammer coming in. They don't have a glyph. Watch this thing melt. The CK's in. They're looking for a dieback on March. They've got the three seconds done. There it is. Exorcism comes out, but that's right as they pop the GA. Luckily, he's still alive. He's spirit siphoning. He's actually back to the because of it. Somehow, they do have the ensnare, but they're going to try to bait this BKB as well as can. Death Prophet ulti down for another 88 seconds for Geek Fam. I mean, they have essentially one life left. Maybe two with the buyback of the Morphling, if he has one. And he does not... Carl, heal the Rapier. Here's the game winning or losing play, although it might not even win you the game. Good silence, but uh, the Jaro in trouble. He's dead. That's yeah. the Rapier on the deck. Nando picks it up. It. Yeah, but he's on the run now. It's already going to be a four versus five fight. They've taken down the Naga Siren. They did everything they needed to to win that fight and get the rapier, and they still might actually. Nando's still on the run. They might get this kill. Three seconds done, and the rapier is going to drop to the deck, and Skid is going to grab it, and he is now hitting like a truck. And this is Aegis Chief for pressure shard if they can get it, and they have no idea this is happening. 
They don't even need the exorcism for this. They're going to send an illusion, and it's going to be too late unless they bash Ro or Rose bash and skid it too many times. Called out coming in. It's going to be close. They get it. They've got the Aegis. They've got the cheese, I think. They should have the refresher shard as well, and they do. And now the CK does get the kill under the Skyrise, but I don't think they're that concerned. The BKB coming up. They've gotten two. Now they're trying to team fight. Skid has the Aegis, though, and there's the flat cannon. They have to pop the GA. A big fight so far. They might be able to bring down Marge, but Juan and Skid both fighting fit. They both have the Aegis. They have the cheese, or rather, one is the Aegis, one is the cheese. Nando getting dropped down, and Juan secures the kill. The Exorcism still going. The CK dead for 70. He has no buyback. They use the buyback on the Rubik. They have to song to Disney. Wait up the ages though is the issue. All right. Execration. And they are trying to get out of the base. This is the first time they've been on the back foot in this entire game and not by numbers, by mean momentum. Silence. Uh, the Lotus Orb comes out for Van, but he's caught with his fans down. He doesn't have GA the Meteor Hammer coming in. It's going to hit onto Skid and all the way from away. And now Lumix in trouble. Ethereal Blade Sia, he's set for 70. They have no buyback on him, and they take the fight right near the base. Wow. Can they do it? Oh, Rubik's Storm of Hell. They have, uh, they're trying to get one set of racks and, and start from there. Exorcism is going to go. The tier 3 push begins. Skid, can they do it? Can they bring it back for Teehee and the rest of the Geek Fam crew and tie the series up at one apiece? So far, it looks like they're going to grab the tier 3, but they get on to March. The four seconds done, he's dead. Night Stalker's dead, but he does have the buyback. Exorcism is still going for a while. They've got the real He doesn't have he has the Andis, but it's in his backpack. He does take it out. They've got the Atos and Mystic Flare. Carl pops the BKB late. He doesn't have Satanic. He's got a mask of madness, but he's still doing work. Skid trying to run. They cannot bring the Aegis down. And Juan is still fighting. The Aeon just comes to work and it's gonna get them out of this situation alive. At least for now. Nando's back into the fray trying to find this engagement. They're gonna try to take down this Grimm's little Shrack, and they should do so. They will jump in. That's the Aegis down. Can they get him twice? They don't have the mana on the CK. They have to back up. They have to get out of this. Buybacks are available for the rating team with the exception of the CK. If they lose him, he's donezo. They do have it on the Omni Knight, though. The Gyrocopter has already used his, I believe, and if, or he's just got an item that I haven't seen. And uh, Execration now hunting them down. If they can get the Morphling and force the buyback, you'd use. That's the, uh, of course, the Rapier down, but they're going to instead find this Night Stalker again, which is, I think, a dieback. It is. He's dead for 85, so you're fighting. Omni is super close to his ag and upset. Yeah, he almost might want to buy out the ags to not have the buyback. I know that's crazy to say. Maybe maybe you do want the buyback. I don't know. It just feels like they need... Oh, Aeon Disc is down. And Snare, Lumic, uh, he's alone. I mean, he has only track, but that's not going to do anything. Edict was stolen. She was guarding things out. Here we go. The waypoint. They've got the courier. It's just some detection or rather some observer wards. And that's going to be a, a dead Naga and maybe even a dead Lashrak. And Lashrak is one of the heroes. He's the only hero that is not a buyback. He's dead for 40 because he has a bloodstone. The rapier throwaway from the Gyrocopter may very well seal their fate in this game. Aegis, Cheese, and Refresher Shard are down. So you're only fighting into that. You do have GA available. No, it's down for 12. And he doesn't have the Axe version of it either. Reality will break the Lincoln Sphere of the Morph. Standing and delivering in these fights is going to be crucial. The problem is he might not have enough damage. He really needs that Rapier back, and I don't think Radiant's he's going to get it this game. And they lose the Courier again. Courier. Yeah, still oh, and they find Marsh. Oh, well, good Hunter in the night. They need an Ensnare. They need Vision. They have a homing missile. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. It actually missed. Are you kidding me? It was an inch away from Marsh, and getting that kill... They have a pretty good understanding that this is... Uh, Oh, they have a courier. That might die. What? Okay, that was the misses. This way, I don't know if they did. I think the exorcism commitment is going to make this fall super fast. I don't know if they can really contest this. The call down is going to come. And they need to get in this pit. The song! Can they take it down in time? They need to bring it down. It's going to be close. And they do get it. They've got the Aegis. They've got the Refresher Shard. They've got the Cheese. But can they win the fight? Skid pops his BKB. Carl pops the Satanic. There's the GA. Skid has to leave. The Exorcism is about to be done here in a moment. The three seconds done on Ichua. The A on this comes out. The Splitter. Skid's in trouble. Reality Rift. He needs to leave and he does. He gets out of time and they actually lose the last track. This fight is turning. Geek fam, they're turning it back around. The Omni Knight is about to fall. He's dead for 90 seconds. He isn't. I cannot believe that. Oh my god. But Leshrac landed just a random. Here's the hex. Skyrath will die. But he has buyback, as do the, does the right. Maybe this game gets easier for Execration. They only have a 3k lead right now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's getting to crunch time, Brax. 
what a uh, cool talent on walking charges is with someone to uh, wake them. It's pretty great. It almost sounds like you're being facetious. No. Image of the melee racks, which will heal up through time. And we continue on in a 53 minute game. We do indeed. And there's still room for execration. For the other tier four, maybe? If it comes to that point. No mega. This Night Stalker is out of the base. He is ensnared up. He does have Hunter in the night, but he cannot deal with a four second stun. He is very tanky. I mean, he stood alive a lot longer than I thought he was going to, but he's down for 70 with a buyback. They're going to take the swipe, maybe? Here comes the Gyro. Excuse me, the Morphling. And this was used on the Grims. They've got the Insert. That'll break the Lincoln Sphere. Here comes the Gyro Copter trying to man fight on the Swan. The Aeon Disc is out. He pops into the Titanic a little bit early. Potentially, they still should have GA. They do. Melee Rack's taken. BKB's gonna go the song. Can they turn and try to fight Schwan? He refreshes. He wants to keep BKB, and he does, but he's only gonna get the knockout out of this, it looks like. Maybe they go back in. This is dangerous. He does have another uh, exorcism available if they want to try to take this fight. Uh, Furu. The, uh, whatchamacallit? I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Thanks. Actually, there's another one, too. That one's just a normal one. Charles gonna run in. They have to pop Glyph. That's gonna be down now. All down, mm, he's in. They've got the GA, they need it. They have Lotus Storm comes in, he gets the Satanic off the time. They still have the Aeon, they get the Morphling, he's gonna have to buy back, and they do the double kill for Carl. He's going to work with the flat kid, and then now they're gonna lose Chuan potentially. He's already got that Aeon disc, they have the song, they wanna reinitiate, or they might wanna just back up now that they've got the racks. They forced out the buybacks that they needed to. They could play safe for Execration. If they die and they don't have buyback, they still might lose the game. They didn't get Megas. I thought they did. It's still up. That building is somehow still alive. The Jaro has been keeping him alive. Exactly, Morphling. yeah. I want to buy the rape here right now, but when the flat cannon comes out, Morphling comes so hard that he just can't actually stand in the fight anymore. Blade mail so that if Blade's going to snap, right away, kill him. Both supports, no buyback, no glyph. Yeah, they've had double swords, more than enough to get. Well, there is no way they can get there to contest. Megas is actually providing more of an effort than I thought maybe was going to for Geek Fan. Uh oh. But as you mentioned, he doesn't have the Satanic. That's the one item right now, along with the Aegis. That is keeping him in these fights. They take down the last year four. The extra sim is going to go. They hit it a pre pretty preemptively. And Snare, Telekinesis, they do have buyback on the Naga. She can't even get off Song. She's dead. You might want to consider backing and waiting those 80 seconds. It is almost too much to starting to kick into high gear. Well, it, it, it is already kicking into high gear. 150, by the way. They're going to Phantasm. The Repel is up. They're getting a little uh, hasty here. The Nog is going to buy back. She does a bot. She can get into the fray in a moment. And this is going to go for the Death Prophet. Exorcism is up if he wants to refresh it. Here comes the GA. And that's the Aegis down. Can they get anything else? They've dropped down the Skyrath Mage. Carl has to bring his BKB out. He's going to get repelled, though. They refresh the end. Just comes out. The Flat Cannon. They're going to break the base down. And Carl's man fighting. And he's doing it right now. The Glyph is going to be done. The Meteor Hammer should take it. And that should do the job. Execration made it way more hard on themselves than they need to in this game. But at the very least, they do get the job done and it's 2-0. Fine, uh, 4 eight.